Glad to be here. Welcome to the High Performance Experience. Okay, we're going to go places we have never gone before. Here's what we're going to do. We're actually going to be bold. We're going to go beyond what we did on the keynote or the other messages, and we're going to make this real. It's all about activating high performance within ourselves, within our teams, and within the organization. So for those of you that have seen me before, we're going to have fun, but we're actually going to go deeper. And those of you who haven't, it's okay. We'll get you up to speed very quickly. Just like we did on the Blue Angels, we got better every single day. You know, I remember being at 36 inches and then consistently getting it down to about 18. So that's the game plan today. Now, like we used to say on the team, smoke on, up we go. So let's get started. And let's review quickly some of the key takeaways that we had. Okay, first off, if you remember, it's all about painting the, the picture of excellence. You know how I took you behind the scenes? You got to see what did it look like when all this came together. We started with this high-performance zone, simply the idea of where am I or where I'm trying to go. There's always a gap. And what I did is I gave you a tool, a very powerful framework process to close the gap and close it quickly. If you remember, I was pretty bold. I said, I think this closes gaps, performance gaps, that is, faster than anything in the world. So what were they? First off, I started with belief levels. Now, we usually talk about vision, and vision is important. But as I mentioned it, it's more about commitment and buy-in to vision. So that's what we're going to focus on. If you remember the second part of this diamond performance framework, and I think the diamond performance is very powerful, was this idea of brief. Now, brief had two key attributes to it. One was a process very quickly to review and get people aligned, but more importantly, focus. That's what we were talking about. How do you get your own mind focused? And then how do you get a team focused? And remember, we took you into the center point. Center point concept was all the jets coming at each other, a thousand miles per hour closer, crossing within a wingspan. And how did we do it? Well, we got ourselves aligned on that critical factor of what the center point was. And then we had a stack of how to achieve that. And that could be the customer experience, could be many different things. We'll talk about more of that later. Then we talked about trust. Trust was all about the key contracts, verbal and nonverbal agreements, because this is about execution. Remember I made a bold statement. If you want to do one thing to increase execution, focus on trust. And that's what we mentioned. Then came the differentiator, the fourth facet to this diamond is the glad to be your debrief. And I think we all remember how significant that was, going into a place few people get to go, inside the Blue Angel debriefing room. And you got to see firsthand how we went about this idea of constant improvement, how we went about this idea of chemistry, leadership, all very powerful things. Uh, it is a differentiator. We'll get into more of that later. And then we wrapped it together. We wrapped it together both for the teamwork message, how much I trusted each and every person on my team, and how important that is on your teams. You know, I wonder, where are we strongest right now in that process and mindset that I just went over? Where are you strongest? And maybe where is your greatest room for improvement? Because that's where we're going to get our biggest bang. And let's not forget about a purpose, a purpose larger than self, and living this mindset of glad to be here. So with that, let's go deeper into this glad to be here mindset. Here we go.